Hello, and welcome to the Gravity Sound Balancing Your Mix series, where I take an unedited track and mix it from start to finish. In this series, I will be going over my list of four mixing stages, starting from volume balancing, leading to group bus effects, EQ, and finally, panning. In the previous video, we balanced our mix using volume and prepared it for adding group bus effects. In this video, we will be doing exactly that. Because we edited volume first, we can add effects to enhance instead of repair. It is beneficial to use effects such as compression and reverb via buses because it helps categorize what that sound is as well as cut down on computing power. For example, if I want to compress a kick drum, I'll use my percussion compression bus. This way, the percussion will sound cohesive and glued together. While you can add effects like these without using buses, your mix will start to get messy in the early stages so it's best to leave fine-tuned editing for later. We will be using three group bus effects, compression, chorus, and reverb, in that order. Now that you've enhanced your mix using group bus effects, you're ready to further polish your mix with EQ. Because you have previously balanced the volume and now added effects to make it pop, it will make sliding in sounds on a frequency spectrum a lot easier. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for part 3 of the Balancing Your Mix series.